Hey, what's going on? Joel here with another drum lesson. Um, today I'm going to show you something that I like to do before I'm about to play for the, you know, for our worship team here at my church. Um, most of the time when we play, it's everybody's coming after work. Uh, you know, we're we're getting here as soon as we can, and then it's sound check, and we we basically have 45 minutes to uh, to get warm and stretch and and sing to get ready for this for our, our worship set. Um, I, on the other hand, I show up a little earlier, maybe about 45 minutes to an hour before the band gets here, and I do my stretches, and uh, I like to warm up with my pad and practice some rudiments to get my hands going, because once people start coming in, um, it's very rude for me to be playing loud while they're trying to talk and stuff like that, so. Uh, what I like to do is I like to do this exercise, and I'm just going to play it it's real slow, then I'll teach it to you. I'll go with my right hand all the way around and come back and and I'll do that over and over maybe maybe I'll do uh, I don't know four sets and I get really sweaty and it warms me up it, it gives me the confidence to hit the, the drums in the middle um, also I do play with other drummers here at the church so we we all like to set a, a setup a different way not too much we don't move it too much but uh, sometimes uh, I like to feel where the drum set is at at the moment, where I am, how my body feels. And so I do that exercise. Now without the hi-hat, what's going on with the, the foot and the hands are 16th notes. So if you're already playing drums, and this is for intermediates, you know that 16th notes are counted 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So that's basically what I'm playing with my hand and foot. So I'm playing one bar of 16th notes on each drum. Um, now, the hi-hat is playing eighth notes. Um, if you're familiar with how the hi-hat barks is basically you're gonna stomp the bottom of your heel, I don't know if you can see this, onto the pedal. Yeah. It might take some time, I'm still working on it. But to get into this exercise, it took, it, and it, it's still taking me some time to get used to it, but I, I'm working on it daily, it's just something I came up with maybe a couple of weeks ago and I felt a tremendous work on my balance. It's helped me move around, it's helped me keep from bouncing. I wanna be solid and, and um, you know, confident in going around the drums. So this is the best way I figured out how to initiate to get into the exercise. Now, you start your hi-hats off, and you're gonna, they're gonna be on eighth notes. One and two and four and one and two. left hand is going to start um, your left hand is going to start right away as soon as your heel it, uh, uh, kicks the hi-hat to bark right there and the tricky part is 
starting the kick drum. I'll do that again and I'll explain it. So the moment your heel is done, initiating the bar, boom, it's gonna start when your when your toe hits the pedal. Oh, I'm sorry, in between. So it's heel, kick drum, toe. And so what I like to do is just start it out here, then I go with my snare, then I involve the kick, and then I go around. Here's the exercise. And then have fun with that.